And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there, Halloween 1978. Okay, I hate it when films tend to rename themselves with the same name and now I have to add the date to it. It freaking aggravates me, but yeah. Uh, Halloween 1978. Okay, well, technically Rob Zombie and then Halloween 2018. So that there are a ton of Halloweens now. Yeah, okay, yeah. Halloween 1978. Okay, this movie by far is still oh, not one of the best slashers, but it literally did capitalize on the slasher genre. You basically have this kid who snaps, killed his sister, and then never speaks. Never speaks. And it's like the, the, the fact that humans are the most evil. Humans are the true terror of the world. Humans are the scary, scariest thing ever. Because humans are the only ones that, yeah. So it's that kind of mindset where it's a psycho um, identity, things like that, where the humans are the what causes the fear. However, it's very slow, very slow. It's a classic film, of course, uh, it's 78. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis at a young age. Uh, so it, it, I don't even think I need to do a breakdown. I think everyone knows. He goes to the hospital, he breaks out, he tries to return home while killing a few people along the way. Yeah, kills people, returns home. Kills people, returns home. It, it's just, it's just his MO. And yeah, that's basically the story in a nutshell. He kills people, returns home. Kills people, returns home. Uh, well. Not really, because he kind of got shot and disappears at the very end. It does, his, his attacks seem to be random. Not really, there's no real reason for it. I mean, I, I originally thought that he just didn't like scandalous people because he killed his sister because his sister was uh, sleeping with a man and he didn't approve. And then he killed the teens for doing the exact same thing, kept hunting them, which is why Jamie Lee Curtis was able to escape because he didn't try as hard. Yeah, but I, I do like the idea where the fact that he doesn't care, doesn't feel pain because he doesn't, he doesn't see pain as effective. It doesn't do anything to him. He's, his, his mind has surpassed his body's limits, which is a, a, a nice little concept for, especially a horror film. It's like, okay, I absolutely like, like this. I like the slasher film. I gotta say, this is a, a lot, uh, <laughs> A lot more adult than I remember. Of course, I think I had only seen it once before, and it was like the TV version, so you didn't see any of the, you know, out there. So I was like, um, why? Why, why can I see that? Why are they doing that? What's the point for that? But I was like, oh crap, yeah, classic slasher. Yeah, it's more of a, a yeah, they, they always tried to bring in a certain audience to scare them as, yeah, so I was just like, okay, fine. There isn't much to this movie, absolutely not. Still is a fun one. I don't think it's the better uh, Halloween because I do prefer Rob Zombie's uh, original, original take. I'll probably do a review on that eventually, maybe next year. <laughs> yeah, but I just wanted to get the, because yeah, the, the Halloween, new Halloween uh, uh, universe I want to get through. So yeah, it, he's being hunted by his doctor. His doctor wants him killed. His doctor knows this, uh, the face of evil. His doctor feels like he needs to be taken out, wants to kill him, doesn't want him to live, doesn't want him back in the hospital, wants to make sure he's executed, doesn't want evil in the world. Yeah. So yeah, I, I actually did enjoy it. It's very quick, very fast review, I know. Um, definitely worth a watch. It's definitely a slow burn. And even when he starts killing people, it's still absolutely slow. Classic late, classic 70s movie, honestly. So if you're not good to those slow films, definitely watch the Rob Zombie version. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles.